No, 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 no. Listen, listen to me, Miss Cruz. My job as a defense attorney is not to ascertain whether someone's guilty or not. But you do represent guilty people. I represent people who have been accused of a crime, but it's up to the prosecution to prove their guilt. But you do appreciate that the people you represent have committed crimes that destroy families, crush dreams. I've and... represented people who have been accused of a crime, and no one, mind you, that I've represented has ever been found guilty. That's right. You've never lost a case. But just because you've never lost a case doesn't mean they didn't commit the crime. Yes, it does. No, no, no. Let me finish. It doesn't lessen the pain of the victim's families or the pain that the victim has to deal with as a result of the crime. I mean, don't you have any pain for the victims? Are you suggesting that I'm an emotionless person who has no feelings for someone who's been violated in some form or another? Yes. Well, you'd be wrong, Miss Cruz. I do feel for the victims. Did you feel for Deja Jordan? Miss Jordan, just so that we are all clear here, can you please tell us, at any point in Mr. Hall's trailer, did you consent to the sex? No. He raped me. I have no feelings for Deja Jordan, because Deja Jordan was not a victim. You still feel this way? As long as I'm black, I will feel this way. What's up, Thug Dow? Tech 9, where you at, baby? So sick with it. Yeah. Here we go, y'all. Soon as I step in the club, I get it cracking. White tea and jeans, I'm just relaxing. Take what I want and shorty, I ain't asking. Back to the bedroom, time for some action. I'm nothing like you weasels and you fake raps. I'm hard to find like a needle in a haystack. One of a kind from me too, I bring an eight back. Rob me, don't even insinuate that. I make cash it, baby, I'm so sick with it. With my kiss in the club, I'm Michael Vick with it. Tell a bar if you ain't better get with it. Don't be mad at me, the chick did it. And that's how I do, get the ass in the mouth. So Red, ain't nothing average Not about me. me New school style, old school mouthpiece right. Looking for me, I'm in a trap like mouse cheese I'm not your average no, nature Look how I stack my you paper high. Stay fresh cause that's my uh -huh. nature You can hate Come but on, that's okay, okay cause I'm not your average gangsta Look how I stack my paper sky. Stay fresh cause that's yeah. my nature You can hate uh -huh. but that's okay right. cause Skill Street, Rubilati, Classic Records What's up, what's up? Haha. <laughs> Shout outs. Big ups, y'all. You know what I mean? Can't do it without you. your tone. You put the cameras in place, right? Yeah. Go get them. I hope. Look, 
man. This is my dude, man. What you got me doing? Man, shut up and go get the cameras. Man. Got it. Now you listen to me. I ain't doing nothing until I see my daughter and I ain't... Get off! What you doing? Get off! I'm trying to put me to sleep. I'm trying to put me to sleep. This is some... Asia. I'm here to see my daughter. She's here somewhere. Her name is Deja Jordan. Come down, ma'am. Come with me. you not feel for her if she were a truthful person I would feel for her if what she said actually happened to her happened I would feel for her if the person accused of doing it seeked me out to defend him I would turn him down and seek out the most aggressive prosecutor and make sure he is prosecuted for the crime but Deja Jordan was not raped Deja Jordan minimizes or uh, uh, desensitizes what credible rape victims go through by claiming she was raped when she wasn't so you believe that she beat herself up and self-inflicted rape injuries? You'd be surprised what people will do for money. Take this to the office world site, please. Ms. Jordan, um, may I speak to you outside, please? I'll be right back. The district attorney and his deputy are here. He wants her to get a statement from your daughter. Does he have to do that right now? It's always best to get it immediately. It helps with the conviction. Are you her mother? Yes. I'll be as brief as possible. Deja, I'm Deputy District Attorney Nadine Lane. What happened tonight? I was raped. By whom? Sick with it. Are you sure that it was sick with I'm it? I'm positive. Okay. Thank you. What did she say? She said it was sick with it. What is it with the question? Is she sure? I had to be sure that she's accusing the right person. She so was sure. Ma'am, I'm District Attorney Brian Lowe. Now, that's just a standard question. It helps diminish the possibility for someone to say she was unsure. Okay, so what are we going to do about it? I'm going to call one of my officers and have sick with it arrested. May I speak with you in private? No, no, I want to hear everything. You can hear, Miss Jordan. What exactly is your concern, Lady? You can't arrest him. 
We don't have sufficient proof that he did it. She just said that he did it. No disrespect to you or your daughter, but I don't know her or you, and Mr. Hall has rights. We can't arrest him with insufficient proof that he committed a crime, and the rape test results won't be in until tomorrow at best. You think she's lying? Dr. Sheridan said that although there is vaginal tearing, she can't positively You calling my daughter a liar? Hey. You calling my daughter a liar? Hey. I will bust you in your head! That is a government official. Now, I understand that you're upset, but I will lock you up myself. Will you take me to jail? charges, then I'll understand. No, I'm not going to press charges. I just want us to do this by the book to ensure we get a conviction. Thank you. This is Michelle. I want you to send Mark and Ron over to Yorktown Studios in Burbank to investigate the trailer. Tell them to question anybody that's still there and get the statements back to me ASAP. And I want you to find Sick With It and bring him in for questioning now. Sick With It, the rapper? Yeah. All right. Why was the DA at the hospital? Because he was in on the take. My research reveals that he's always been a staunch advocate against sex crimes. Yes, he is, but he's an administrator. He dispatches people who work for him to go do his dirty work. No. The reason why the DA was there is because he had to ensure that every domino that he put into place fell at the exact place it was supposed to fall, causing the exact ripple effect that it was supposed to cause. And why would he do that? Money. And who would pay him this money? Deja, who is barely making enough money for her own expenses? Oh my gosh, Miss Cruz, are you that blind to what was going on here? The DA had to be there to ensure that Deja got her money so that he, in turn, would get his money. That's a pretty big risk for someone that powerful to take off a video vixen. The DA is a 50-year-old man. His wife is, yeah. Deja Jordan's a beautiful woman. Perhaps she had more to offer than just money. But why? If what you're saying is true, why set sick up? I know that. But this balloon payment is just too much. You knew when you purchased your home, the interest rate was variable. I know that. <laughs> and with a variable rate, the interest increases. I understand that. You do understand increase means goes up. And according to the contract, that takes place after three years. I understand that. Well, then what's the problem? Why are you being so mean to me? I'm just trying not to lose my house. Well, then you shouldn't have gotten the loan. Don't never know it like me, cause I'm sick with it. I'm sick with it. You don't never know it like me. Hey, hey. You all right? No. I'm trying to take the house from my mom and she didn't have the money to stop them. I mean, she can't get a loan? She already refied four times. I'm trying to help her as much as I can, but I'm not making enough money. Well, you are the lead in Sick With It's new video, and I know they're breaking you off a grip. It's not enough. Well, ask for more, boo-boo. I'm sure they'll give it to you. Trust me, I'm getting the max, and if I ask for more, I'm gonna have to give up some, and I'm not doing that. Uh, well, you might need to if you're trying to save this house. How much does she need anyway? Like a hundred grand. Shut the front door. Oh, yeah, you might need to be spread and ready to get that kind of cash, girl. I already told you, I'm not sleeping with nobody for some money. It's only sex, Dej. Why are you tripping? I don't know, Tiffany. Maybe because I'm worth more than that. And it is more than just sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much you say it was again? Over a hundred grand. And how do you know it's a hundred grand? One day I was using her computer, opened up one of her files by mistake, and saw how much debt she's in, mostly because of me. 
I mean, she paid for my schooling, all my dance classes, my photo shoots, my car. She paid for everything. She loves you. And I guess if your dad would have been- a Don't bring up that mo Look, my father, he can't help. I'll find a way to get her the money. Well, speaking of money, I'm too cute to be sitting up in your damn room. So, you are packed. And you're late, so we should go. Dash. Asia. It's gonna work out. I know. I, I think she had this moment all planned out. It's amazing to me how you're putting all of this in a woman. How, in your eyes, has Sick done nothing wrong? Because he didn't do anything wrong. He's the victim. The victim? He's had the reputation of a notorious womanizer. That's a character flaw, not an illegal act. He's treated women as his own personal sex slaves. Again, a character flaw, not an illegal act. Well, what about the four women that came forward and said that he forced each of them to have sex with him? That's an illegal act. He was never charged with any of those claims. And if those four women felt that he did something that was so wrong, why didn't any of them take him to court? Because they were afraid of defense attorneys like you who would turn the tables and make it out to be their fault. <laughs> if a woman is dressed sexy and flirting with a man, she's indicating she's down for sex. That's what those four women did. And sick with it, had the right to try to hit it. That is such a sexist statement. It may be a sexist statement, but it is true. So let me get this straight. A woman cannot dress sexy without a man thinking she wants sex? There's a difference between dressing sexy and slutty. A difference which I can see you're very much well aware of by the way that you're dressed. Because you look very sexy. And if I were to take you out, I would treat you with the utmost respect because of what I would want from you. And if I was dressed slutty? Me, myself, personally? I would still treat you with respect. Sick with it, he'd try to hit it. And if you took him to court over it, I'd beat that case every day of the week. I can't believe I'm hearing this from an educated man. Uh, I am educated, Miss Cruz. But I am still a man. That's society, Melanie. I mean, the hip-hop culture is no different. The hip-hop culture has shown their true colors on the treatment of women. And the men in that culture should be ashamed of themselves. And you should be ashamed of yourself for representing someone like Sick Witted. I'd be careful there, Miss Cruz. Before you wave your I am woman flag, let's not forget. Sick Witted is the true victim here. Hey, I'm here. Okay. Go, 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 gadget. The gift I got, girl, is pure magic. And then I'm ghost, riding in the fan. My boy is fine and paid. You think I want to give him some just to like get that money? Fitting is right here. Nah, man. Daisha Jordan is the business. Yo, what time is she supposed to be here? No, man. You'll be tripping over things. You just gonna let that go. Yo, it's crazy, though, man. Ever since I met this girl at the BT Awards, I can't get her off my mind. I would just talk for like a hot minute, but I don't know, man. It seems like something there. You know what it is? No. She a trick, just like the rest. Hey, look, man. For real. Don't call it that no more, right? I'm gonna make her my girl. For real. Wow. Wow. The day that she met Six, she put her plan in motion. 
I think she put it in motion with a few other rappers who were up and coming on the verge of a big payday. But Sick was the only one who bit because he was the only one who had true feelings for her. And the chain of events that she put in motion to take him down sickens me. Yo, what's good with you, Thug Doc? Hey, yo, let me holler at my brother for a minute. Uh, no doubt. It's all for you, man. You a mailman, man? Maybe. You're loving my mail. It's a joke? <laughs> Get out, man. Get out! Dog, man, for real? This me? Yeah. Oh, you, bitch. Dude, what the fuck are you talking about, baby? Okay. Look, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Yo, yeah. yo, I told you the best thing was to be conservative, oh. save, and invest your money. Wow, right? Bro. I told you I'd make you some money. You're not just in the rap game either. Yeah, I'm about to put everything in motion. This your daughter, Rihanna. All right? So if you're, not, if you're not sure... Blaze, I've been waiting on this for a long time. I'm not gonna get a better opportunity than this. I'm sure. All right. Blaze, make sure nothing happens to my baby girl. Get off me! Where's sick at? He was his brother. Who this? You gonna do something for me. What? You tripping, B? Your daughter's name is Ashley, right? Her and your baby mama live in Brooklyn Gates Avenue, apartment 17. Yeah, I know you don't care for Tanika too much. <laughs> but Ashley's your little princess. You don't want nothing to happen to her. You do what I tell you. Who is this? I'm gonna call you back with instructions. And yo. Tell anyone about this conversation. I'm a hurt Ash. Hello? Tanika, where's Ashley? You with your mom and your cousin. They came to pick her up about an hour ago to take her to Adventure World. That was nice of you to pay for the tickets for her and her friends. I appreciate that. I uh, what? Hold on. Tell Tanika you'll talk to her later and wait for my call. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna call you back. Yeah, 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 call her back. Yo, what's wrong with you? Yo, man, it's Tanika. She, she tripping on me again. And I told y'all about having kids out of wedlock. And you need to get ready so we can get out of here though we don't go over budget, all right? All right, no doubt. Got you, boy. All right. Peace out, bro. All right. Man, boy, life is good. Yo, what's that trick's problem now, anyway? Don't even worry about it. Look, Tech, man. There's plenty of shorties around here. She's 3,000 miles away. You need to focus. Got plenty of them around here you can holler at, homie. <laughs> Plus, look at that. Your boy just came up, baby. Look at that, yo. Look at all them zeros. <laughs> That's, That's right. Up, yes, sir. You. you deserve this, B. Yeah, days of mine for real, man. Yo, man, come on, man. This ain't got, man. It's on me. I'm burned. Shut up, man. Sick with it is the one who had an agenda. And it wasn't love. It was sex. Just like every other woman he's conquered because he is sick with it and he's had the hot new single out right now, so he's feeling himself. And if he wants you, you have no choice because he's gonna take it. That's who sick with it is. Do you know this from personal experience? Independent of whatever happened between you and him, in this situation, he was set up. He did nothing illegal. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Come. No, 
man. I'll be there in a minute. She, she tripping on me. I'll be there in a minute, man. All right, man. We'll handle that. We'll handle yeah. Now, start walking towards the wardrobe trailer. <sighs> when you get to the wardrobe trailer, a girl's gonna hand you six wardrobe. Make sure he wears the outfit. Are you tech nine? Here you go. Who told you to give me this? What's wrong with you? Who told you to give me this? I got a call on the walkie to give you six wardrobe when you got here. Who called you? Who I called you? I don't know. And let go of me. This is prime. Whoa. Just so I'm clear. You are gonna sleep with him, right? <laughs> My bad, I, I just got a lot on the dog. What's good with you? I gotta take this to, to six, so I'm gonna holler at you a little bit, all right? All right. You ain't gonna holler at your star before you come? Okay, what's up? Hey. All right, I'm All right, no doubt. Hey, Tech, let your boy know I'm looking forward to being his girl tonight, okay? <laughs> Whatever. Oh. Make sure you do. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, honey. Right? Can somebody get the door? What the hell? Man, you be killing me reading these novels, man. Yo, check this out. What I got for you, B. Yo, sit. Check this out. Good. This is it right here. It's all right, man. But I'm gonna stick with what I got on, I mean. Oh, dog, come on. Come on, this the business right here. For real. Yo, they ready for your first shots. Let's go do this. Yo, yo, he'll be there in a minute, man. Nah, he needs to come right now. Yo, thug, I'm trying to tell him to wear this right here. Huh? This the business right here for his first video, dick. You don't switch it up a little bit, you feel me? Man, he need to be in with everybody knowing for. Let him wear that at a war show or something. Come on, we gotta go, man. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, sick. Yo, I'm trying to told you, man. I'm trying to tell you this yo, is it, yo, B. Yo, dude, what's up with you in my outfit all of a sudden? I'm wearing this. Come on, man. Yeah. Tell your daddy hi. Hi, daddy. Ashley? Thank you for the ticket. When you coming to visit again? I don't know, baby girl. Soon. Now say goodbye to daddy. Okay, bye, daddy. Ashley! Ashley! Fail me again. How did the last conversation you ever have with him? Jay, what that outfit? Right here, yeah. The wars old lady told me that Daisy likes to do their worst stuff like that. Said it turns her on. I told you. I told you. Dog, you was right. All right, okay, you was okay. right, boy. Do your thing, Donny Shine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, I was going to go. I told you. Yeah, I tried. I tried. Yo, that was the business. Thanks, Deja. I made our video hot for real. Hey, it was my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> are you coming to the after party, right? Oh, definitely. I wouldn't miss it. All right, all right. I'm out of here. Hey, yo, don't be all day, man. Yo, let's bounce. Uh, Sky. Mm, it's your friend. <laughs> it was crazy, though, man. You know, I've seen you in plenty of videos. Yeah. To see you dancing up in person, mm. it's like... Really? Yeah. Well, I love the movement and the rhythm. And the sexiness. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that. So how long you been dancing? Oh, God. My whole life, my mom had me in dance classes before I could even walk. <laughs> Dang, that's what's up. Why you wait till now to tell me to do this? Stop girling and get it done. I 
got him. My dad had me like that too. Mm, dance classes? Nah, nah. Come on now. Music school. Yeah? Every summer. So you grew up with your father? Yeah. yeah. What was that like? Growing up with my dad. It was cool. He was somewhat of a disciplinarian type, but you know. Okay, place them on opposite sides of the room. Out of sight. But make sure we can see the entire room from both angles. Then press the record button and get out of there. Yo, man, this is foul. This is my man's in there. What you got me doing? Man, just do it. Yo, there ain't no way to put him without him seeing him. Figure it out. Ashley's depending on him. Man. So, what about you? You didn't grow up with your father? No. Actually, I, um, I never met him. Dang. Who was that? I don't know. Probably somebody messing around. Anyway, finish what you were saying, sir. So you don't know who your father is? Oh. Man, that's crazy. You know, that's usually the dude's story. I wouldn't know. You know, I never really had my dad uh, treat me like a princess. Come here. Look, I'll keep it 100 with you. I'm your daddy. But I do want to make you a girl. And we can go through the process and everything, you know what I'm saying? See how it work out, but I want you to make me. Well, you know, let me make you feel like that princess you are. And how are you gonna make me feel like a princess? Hmm? <laughs> Just come inside and I'll show you. Why you gotta show me in there? Why can't you show me right here? Cause it's, it's people out here. It's just, this is not, it's not appropriate. Just let me do it to you inside. So. Oh, do it to me? <laughs> no, I didn't. All right, look, if you wanna talk, we can, if that's what you want. Is that what you want to do? Hmm? Bite you just want to talk? Bite your lip, but... Mm. Oh, so you just now force me inside. Hey, Let's look, see. Look, 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 look. Hold on, hold on. I'm not going to force you to do anything you don't want to do, are you? Know that. We're just going to talk, right? Is that the actual one? No, but that's the same model they used. So what's your point? Because that only proves my point, that Deja Jordan set him up. Or that he had the cameras placed in his room because he's also notorious for taping his sex acts and putting them online. He didn't do that. Deja Jordan set him up and she used his best friend to do it. Tech Nine never admitted to placing those cameras in his room. That's a story you and your client concocted. Tech Nine's family, his daughter in particular, was facing certain death, and he was not willing to risk his family's life for his boy's reputation or freedom. You leave no room for the possibility that sick with it is guilty. I told you, I don't represent guilty people. Because you're the great Tyrone Julian, who's never lost a case. Damn right. It's okay. Now, where y'all taking him? What did he do? You have to wait here, sir. Now, that's my little brother. I don't care if it's little Wayne, little Romeo, or Tupac Shakur. You gotta wait right over there, sir.
This is the information Mark and Ron got from the people they questioned. As usual, no one saw anything. These are his DNA results. And here are rape test results proving they raped Asia. Didn't they just complete the exam an hour ago? And this is Dacia. Mm. You need to get a confession out of it. I'll get it. There's no way they got those test results so fast. Do we have a problem, detective? No, sir. Let's go. Yeah, it's done. Okay. All right. Make the call. You know why they brought your brother in for questioning, right? Who is this? They gonna charge him with rape. You can come in, Miss Jordan. With rape? Yeah. But my brother ain't raped nobody. Deja Jordan player. Hey, t hey, yo, listen. I ain't raped Deja, period. I ain't raped her. I didn't rape that girl. She did that to herself, man. Are you done? <laughs> and they got me. They got him, dude. Evidence, DNA, witnesses. My bro- My brother ain't raped Daisha. Well, actually, you're right. In fact, I got digital video proving he never touched her. But with an angel defense attorney gonna be able to prove he didn't rape her, and without that proof, your brother's looking at doing six years in prison. Now, if you want to spare him from doing time, it's gonna cost you. Five million dollars. Man, we just coming up in this game. I don't have that kind of money. What do you think, I'm stupid? You invested almost all of your brother's first lump sum check and invested it in that currency trading thing that everybody's doing, and you made millions. And out of the millions that you made with your brother's money, you gave him one, one million dollars. Oh, you a trip. But hey, glad you ain't my brother. Now, you gonna get me that money. I'll call you later with instructions. Okay, I thought I only made like a million five, two mil. He did. So why the hell you asking for the five? Because he can get it. But what if he can't get it? Blaze, she specifically said for a mil. Hey, I know what I'm doing. Okay, but what if he can't get the money and he figures the only way out of it is to go to trial? He won't do that. He won't risk his brother. We won't risk his brother's freedom. And besides, as tough as sick is, he ain't that smart. That cop will get him to confess. Trust me. Jason, man, I keep trying to tell you all that, man. Why you don't listen to me? Well, lucky for you, we figured out what really happened. What you mean you figured out what happened? You figured out I didn't rape her, right? No, we concluded that you didn't intend to rape her. Intent? Yo, look, I didn't do this to this girl. I don't know how she got... I didn't do this to... I didn't rape Daisy. I did not rape this girl, man. Are you done? You're not listening. The key is intent. If you confess that you never had the intention to rape her, I can get you out of this. Oh. Well, the 
because I helped someone else out in the same situation and because it happened to me. I was on a date, flirting with this guy, and we got back to my place, and he thought that I wanted sex, and I didn't. But because of what I was wearing and the way I was flirting, he thought that I did. And technically, he raped me. But he didn't intend to rape me. Then what happened to him? He got off on a suspended sentence. It was concluded that he didn't intend to rape me, just like you didn't intend to rape Daisha. You thought that she wanted sex, right? It isn't a thought. She wanted to have sex. That's what I keep trying to tell you all, man. She was flirting with me, she was all up on me, just like the rest of them tricks that be on the videos, man. Exactly, exactly. You did what you thought she wanted you to do. I did exactly what she wanted, exactly. Yo, she said she liked me what? Right? right, and now she's saying it's rape. Right. I don't know how that... And I know, I know, it wasn't. But technically, it was. Like I said, I can get you out of this. All you have to do is write it down. Just write down what you told me, that she was flirting, that she told you that she liked her sex rough, and that in your mind, it was consensual. You didn't intend to rape her. It was consensual in your mind. It's important that you write that down. And if I put what y'all want on this paper? You go home. No trial, no nothing. No prison. I just can go home. Just write it down. And right at that moment, they had him. Their plan was about to work. And what happened? God. You mean you? No, no, no. <laughs> I am not a doctor. I do not profess to be God, but... I do believe that God does orchestrate things. I've always loved you. Can you get that? I need to think. Sure. What's up, T? It's thugged out. Listen, I got an emergency. Uh, and I'm sorry, but, but Pete, listen. They got Tony locked up down here. They got him in a room, and I think they're trying to coerce a confession out of him. He needs a lawyer. Thanks for coming, man. I appreciate it, T. Yeah, no problem, no problem. But listen, I'm only here to make sure he doesn't answer any questions. After that, you're gonna have to get another lawyer. Hey, yo, this is my brother's lawyer. I want my brother released. All right, hold on. I'm attorney Tyrone Julian, attorney for Tony Hall. I want all questioning stopped, and I'm gonna see my client now. Let me check to see if he's been sent to booking. He hasn't been sent to booking, officer. Ravalli. Ravalli. He hasn't been sent to booking. I want questioning stop, and I want to see my client now. Wait here. How do you break that girl, man? His lawyer's here. Did you tell him he was sent to booking? Yeah, he's not buying it. All right. I'll go talk to him. Did Ravelli tell you? His lawyer's here. And? Brian, all questioning has to stop. His lawyer is here. Maybe you don't understand what's at stake here. 
80% of the women who come forward with rape claims never see justice. 80%. Thus, women stop coming forward and men continue to rape without fear of prosecution. Many of these women are scarred for life, Nadine. And they feel they have no recourse because the justice system is designed to persecute the victim, not the perpetrator. Now you can come with me or you can stay here, but questioning will continue and Daisha Jordan will receive justice. Stop representing criminals. I thought you stopped impersonating a prosecutor. Look, I want all questioning stopped, and I want to see my client. I want to see him now. Who's, uh, who's your client? Bugs Bunny. Tony Hall. Oh, he's not here. He's already left. He's gone to booking. Man, that's booked. Wait. When was he sent to booking, Brian? Hmm, about 20 minutes ago. So at 110? Something like that. I was here 20 minutes ago. He's still back there. He's lying. There are other doors in this building, sir. He's gone. His arraignment's in the morning. You can see him then. Let's go. Wait a minute. I want to see my little brother. Wait. We're not going to see him tonight. He's got the best defense attorney in the city. There's even more reason why we got to get that confession. Yo, T, you know he's lying. Why did we leave? Because he's the DA. He's corrupt, but he is the DA. That was a battle we weren't going to win. But what if they trick him into confessing or something? Even I know there's no way around a confession. Well, we just got to pray he's smart enough not to confess. Yo, T, I need you to handle this for me, man. I already told you, my fiance and I, we just got engaged. And we promised each other that we're gonna give up law because we're obsessed with it and focus on our relationship. I pay you double for what I paid you in the past. It's not about the money. I can't put my brother's life in no one's hand that I, I don't know. He's being charged with rape. They're trying to make him confess to something that I know he didn't do. What if he did it? He didn't. You sure? I'm a hundred. I got a call from some fool who says he has proof that he didn't rape Dacia. And they'll give me the proof if I pay him five million dollars. The trick is setting him up. I need you to handle this. I can't. I can't go back to my old way of handling things. Look, I understand your situation, but I already told you I'm not practicing law anymore. So what I'm supposed to do, T? To have my brother face in prison for a crime he didn't commit, and you're the best defense attorney in the state. What makes you think I'm gonna let you walk out of here without helping my brother? You threatening me? I'm telling you, I need you. And I ain't one to be telling nobody I need them. But that's my little brother. And he's all I got. When you first met Sick, did you believe him? Um, I had my doubts. Uh, I mean, this was a kid who had freestyled and made records about his exploits with women, uh, guns, drugs. And like anyone else, when you meet him, you think that this is who he is. Tony Hall, sick with it. Although not the most intelligent person in the world, he was, um, he was a lyrical genius. He had a way of putting words together that would just blow your mind. And he didn't always rap about you know, street stuff. He had stories of political issues and social ills but he felt that he had to resort to his street knowledge in order for him to find financial success in the rap game. 
You don't like Tony Hall very much, do you? No, I don't. I think that he's an ignorant rapper and a disgrace to the image of black men as he continues to perpetuate that we as black people have no concern for family values by having a bunch of kids out of wedlock. He has no moral values as he's a womanizer, a drug user, a liar, and a waste of flesh as he represents no desire to gain intelligence and utilize that intelligence in areas that matter socially, such as math, science, or even law. So no, I don't like him. Okay. Why did you jeopardize your relationship with your fiance to stay on this case? Tyrone Julian for the defense, Your Honor. Mr. Lowe. My prosecutor will be here momentarily, Your Honor. I didn't look at it as me jeopardizing my relationship with her. I looked at it as me ensuring that an innocent man get a fair trial in the face of corruption. Sierra Young for the prosecution. Well then, how do you plead? Mr. Julian, how do you plead? Um, I'm sorry, um, we enter a plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Oh. Trial date set August 8th. Next case. <clears throat> I'm gonna pay his bail, man. Right. Can I talk to you in private for a moment? Sure. What, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? The call I got last night, I got that from William, the defendant's brother. We grew up together. He told me his brother had an emergency. He said he needed my help, so I said I'd help him. Well, Brian called me last night as well and told me about the victim and said she needed our best prosecutor to assure that the rapist got the maximum penalty. Okay, first of all, alleged rapist. But you gotta get off this case. You gotta get another prosecutor. <laughs> Wait, well. Why do I need to get off the case? Why don't you get off? Do you see? What? That's the reason right there. You and I trying a case against each other is only going to put a strain on our relationship. Besides, you have no vested interest in this. I am interested in justice. I have known William and his little brother since we were in third grade. Oh, I guess that just justifies you representing a rapist. Stop. He's not a rapist. After they brought Sick in for questioning last night, William got a call from some guy. Told him that they had proof that Sick with it never touched Daisha. But the only way they were going to give him that proof is if he paid five million dollars for it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. She's not a victim. And you believed him. What, what do you mean? About the call. Yeah, I believed him. Why would he lie about it? <laughs> to make sure you took the case, duh. Ty, you are the best defense attorney in this city. He knows his brother is guilty, so he will say whatever it takes to make sure you took the case. No. No. I, I looked him in his eyes. And I looked in hers. Have you even seen her? Does that look like someone who's going to try to extort him for money? If she's planning to extort him for money, she's not going to show up at the hospital looking like she's ready to go to the BET Awards. <laughs> I'm taking this case. At risk to our relationship. Wow. I didn't know that our relationship was based on you telling me what to do. <laughs> you can't beat me in a trial scenario. See you in court, counsel.
So, it was more important for you to get your picture in the paper next to another big case than it was to secure your relationship with Miss Young. I don't want to talk about Sierra. If you want to talk about the case, we can talk about the case, but I don't want to talk about my relationship with Miss Young. Excuse me. to do is get the check my company made out to sick and get it to me so that I could cash it and have my boy bury the old check. Now, I know my company would do an investigation, but ultimately they would cut him another check and I would have gotten my money. So how the hell she end up getting raped? We are. Good, ladies. Huh? What? Is that Blaze? What are you doing? It's okay. Come to the house. It's open. So what's going on? What's going on? You filed rape charges against Robert Dawkins, also known as MC Black Ice. You charged that he and four other unknown men took you to a hotel room after a music video shoot, drugged you, and raped you. The court dismissed the case because their lawyer successfully painted this picture of you being the typical promiscuous video vixen. The one person that could have stood by you was Blaze. But he was afraid that Black Ice would make good on his threat and hurt his family. I was the result of that rape. And though you tried to let it go, it's haunted you all these years. And against your better judgment, you decided to seek revenge. And the way to get that revenge was through me. How'd you find this information? For the past six or seven years, I've been reading your journals. Give me that. Are you crazy? Mom, your pain is my pain. What they did to you, the fact that my father didn't own up to what he did and he let us spend for ourselves. I understand you're angry. The least that you want is money as restitution for what they did to you and what you went through and you want it from somebody in the rap game. But you had to wait for me to grow up to get in that game because you're still too afraid to get close to it. Your plan was good. It was. But mine's better. Not only will we get money to keep the house and make sure that you don't ever have to worry about anything again. But we can 
also take down a notable rapper. What are you talking about? Sick didn't rape you. Mom. Oh, no. No! Deja, that is wrong. Look, I know what I did was wrong, but you... Look, they were gonna get their... They were gonna get their money anyway. But you trying to take down a guy and put him in prison? An innocent man? Innocent? Mom, the fact that most men in the rap game treat women the way they do and aren't held accountable for it, in my eyes, none of them are innocent. And you know about this? You ain't say nothing to me about this? Blaze, how long we been friends? Brianna. Bree, look at me. Bree. You have no idea how bad I feel that I wasn't man enough to help you back then. Brianna. Brianna, look at me. Look at me. That's not the case now. Deja's plan is, is good. And it's working. Look, we're gonna get you that money. And we're gonna send a message to the rap world. He's a casualty of war, Mom. Sick and his brother both say that the extortion was run by the mystery man that no one but Sick's brother has actually seen. So why did you believe that he actually existed? Because, like I said earlier, the district attorney had him. They had him. But when Sick wrote on that piece of paper that he did not rape Daisha, effectively saying, take me to trial, I had to believe that everything he said about the extortion plot was true. And so we went to trial. Call your first witness, Ms. Young. The state calls Mr. Greg Tekinson. Sidebar, Your Honor. Oh, for crying out loud. This is our witness, Your Honor. Anything he has to say benefits us. Your Honor, he came forth last night feeling he could no longer sit on the information he had. Your Honor, the only reason he would have come forward at all is because they threatened him. This is my client's best friend. We haven't threatened him. He's on your witness list, Mr. Julian. What's the problem? They never once informed us of him coming forward with any information. Your Honor, District Attorney Lowe tried contacting Mr. Julian, but to no avail. Your Honor, I am trying this case with limited help. Then get some help. He can take the stand. Now step back. Your Honor, we weren't planning on calling him Enough! Until enough. I don't like this any more than you do, but he is on your list. The prosecution may call him. Are you crazy? You will watch your tone with me, or you'll find yourself in a prison cell. If you need time to prepare, I'll give you an hour recess. Now step back. I said step back, Mr. Julian. What's up with your boy? I don't know. Hey, Tech, what the deal, man? What you doing? Tech! Yo, Tech, what you doing, man? What the deal? Mr. Hall! Calm down. Calm down. Mr. Tekinson, you and Mr. Hall are best friends, correct? Yeah. Would you say that you know him pretty well? No doubt. Do you believe that Mr. Hall raped Miss Jordan? I do. What? Sit down. Why is that? Well, earlier that day, you know, he was all excited about Deja shooting his video, talking about how he wanted to hit it. Hit it means? Have sex with her. And I was like, what if she don't want to have sex? And he was like, well, all women want to have sex with me. And even if she don't, she ain't got no choice of the matter. <laughs> What you doing, man? What you talking? Come on, man. Come on, talk. What you doing, man? What you doing? 
That's it, Mr. Julian. Your Honor, please, have an appreciation. This is my client's best friend. They grew up together, and he is now blindsided by this betrayal of the friendship with these blatant lies, which will result in emotions running high. He is not lying. When I get through with him, you'll see exactly how much he's lying and how much you're being played for a fool. What you call me? Was I unclear in what I just said? Enough, the both of you. Your Honor. If he has another outburst, by all means, lock him up. But for now, please, allow him to stay and face his accuser. Mr. Hall, stand in front of me. Go ahead. Out of respect for Mr. Julian, I'm gonna grant his request this one time. The next time you display any type of outburst like that, I'm locking you up. Do you understand me? Yeah. You will address me as your honor. Now answer me properly. Yes, your honor. Take a seat. You are going to have to calm down. Oh, I'm going to walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, man. Continue, Miss Young. Mr. Tekinson, in the rap world, there are rules, as you know, that you just don't tell on your friends. Even little Kim did time as to not incriminate her friends. So tell me something. Why are you testifying against your best friend? Because it has to stop. What has to stop? The way we treat our woman in the video world. I mean, we hire the ones we know we can hit, you know what I mean? I mean, that's their purpose. Make the video look hot, and then we take care of us in, that, in our sexual fantasies. I mean, I know it ain't right, but that's what it is, and I just believe it has to stop. Thank you. Counselor? <sighs> Mr. Julian. Yo, you need to handle this, man. If I go up there and question him without knowing what the DA offered him, this could go bad for us. Oh, you see the faces? You see the look on the jury's faces? Look, if you wait, it's gonna look like you have to come up with something to prove he's lying. You need to do something right now. Right now. Mr. Julian. Mr. Tekinson, in your testimony, you said it's a shame the way we treat the girls in those videos. By we, do you hold yourself culpable? What'd that mean? Culpable. Responsible. Well, yeah, I guess. Would you say that some of your own actions could be construed as sexual assault? Probably. And with the publicity of this trial, and you being best friends with Tony Hall, a girl could be watching this, and she could charge you with assault or, or rape for that matter, and you'd be looking at doing time. Correct? Yeah in which the district attorney could press charges against you. And if they press charges, you're facing prison yourself for the same crime, correct? I'm, I'm, I'm no lawyer, but yeah, I guess. But instead of doing time, you're up here giving incriminating testimony against your best friend in exchange for immunity, basically resulting in you doing no time. Isn't that the reason why you're testifying against him, Mr. Tekinson? No. Excuse me? Look. The district attorney ain't offering me nothing. It's like I said, all right? It's just gotta stop. And that's what I'm sticking to. Do you have any more questions, Counselor? Nothing further, Your Honor. I just cannot believe that the DA is corrupt. Oh, corruption is part of politics, Miss Cruz. And the heartbeat of corruption is money. They paraded person after person on that witness stand who just tore this poor boy down. You were losing. Up to that point, in everyone's minds, I had lost. This is crazy, man. I can't believe all the lies they get these people saying on me and them, man. I'm gonna have to pay these fools. They're killing us. This isn't over. I can win this. 
And I'm not finna risk my brother's life on your trumped up ego. William, first of all, I don't have a trumped up ego. I have a perfect record, and I'm telling you, I can win this case. Well, win it. But I'm gonna go pay these fools. You're not doing no time. Wait. All he had to do was wait. For you to be raped, Deja? For me to do what I do best. Get the truth out of Deja. Ms. Young? Please state your name for the record. Daisha Jordan. Daisha, you've been through a lot, and I commend you for having the courage to come forward. Before we get all teary-eyed with this beautiful job she's doing, is there a question before the court? You were the lead girl in Mr. Hall's latest video, correct? Yes. What was he like when you met? He was a cool guy, uh, talkative, funny. Deja, after the video shoot, what happened? He offered to walk me back to my trailer, which I agreed to, but we ended up back at his, and I was like, here we go again. Here we go again. Most men I meet want to have sex with me, but I thought he was interested in me. So what happened? We, um, we got to the trailer and he started to pull me inside. I didn't want to go inside his trailer. I told him I just wanted to talk. And he finally agreed that we would just talk. And so, that's when I went inside with him. And what happened once you were inside Mr. Hall's trailer? Well, we talked a little while longer, and then he started to get touchy-feely, you know. He put his hand on my leg and was touching my breast. Did you say anything to him about touching you? Yes. I told him to stop. I said that I just wanted to talk, and he didn't need to be touching me like that. And what did he say to that? He got really angry and started yelling at me. He said, stop fronting. You know why you're here. And I was like, I already told you I just want to talk. So I got up to leave, but he blocked the door. And that's when he pushed me on the sofa and jumped on me. And he pinned me down. She lying! Nobody jumped on you, Deja! Mr. Julian! You need to calm down. She will lock you up. She lying, man. She trying to set me up. Please continue. That's when, um... He forced his tongue in my mouth. And he started squeezing my breasts. And... Telling me, I know you want it. And I was like, stop. I don't want you like that. But he just kept going. And he forced me on my back. And I could feel his knees prying my legs open. And he started to unzip his pants. And that's when I swung to fight him. I thought that if I could, um, if I could just get him off of me, that maybe, um, and I guess that's when he punched me in my face a couple of times, because I blacked out. And the next thing I remember, I woke up and, he was on top of me, and he was inside me. He was raping me. Raping you? Wasn't nobody raping you? You did rape me! You did rape me! I raped you? I raped you! You lying, man! Miss Jordan, Daisha, stay with me. Talk to me. You're doing fine. Oh, I told him to stop. You never
never said stop. Oh, I told come on, him man. to stop, and he wouldn't. Why you wouldn't know the show? You never said stop. God, I did tell you to stop. Deja, how'd you get out? He was done. I jumped up and I ran out. Miss Jordan, just so that we are all clear here. Can you please tell us, at any point in Mr. Hall's trailer, did you consent to the sex? No. He raped me. Thank you. Ms. Jordan, are you an actress? I'm sorry? Are you an actress? That was a great performance you just gave. Objection. It was. Mr. Julian. My apologies, Your Honor. Have you ever acted professionally? Yeah. Once, I wasn't that good. Well, you've gotten better. Objection. Withdrawn. Have you ever studied with an acting coach? Objection, Your Honor, this has nothing to do with the fact that she was raped. But it has everything to do with the fact that she's lying. I'm not lying. Are you a truthful person? Objection. If he is gonna stay this far off course. Your Honor, Miss Jordan just gave testimony that she is a truthful person. I should be allowed to question her on the merits of that statement. Overruled. Thank you. You calm down so I can get through this so we can get out of here by lunchtime? Hey, Mr. Julian. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but she keeps slowing me down. Where was I? Truthful person. Are you a truthful person, Miss Jordan? Yes. I'd ask that Mr. Johnson please stand. Objection! You just can't help yourself, can you? Mr. Julian. A little latitude, Your Honor. Do you recognize this man? Yes. You asked him to leave his job because you told him you had an emergency, didn't you? Yes. But there was no emergency, was there? No. You lied to him. Yes. You may sit down, sir. So you're capable of lying to get what you want. I'm not lying about this. He raped me. That wasn't the question. The question is, are you capable of lying to get what you want? We all are. We all are not accusing someone of a crime they did not commit. So I'm going to ask you the question again, and I will ask the court to instruct her the answer with a yes or no answer. Are you capable of lying to get what you want? Yes! And what is it that you want, Daisha? Justice. Really? I was thinking more uh, money or revenge. 20 years ago, your mother was raped, wasn't she? Rape shield, your honor. That case was thrown out, your honor. Rape shield doesn't apply. Was your mother raped, Daisha? Yes. And the men who did it were never convicted, were they? No. And you're the result of that rape, correct? Yes, I am. How does that make you feel, Deja, about your father who raped your mother and was never convicted of it and abandoned both you and her? Not very good. Not good? It would piss me off. In fact, it would anger me so much so that I would want to find my father and hurt him physically. Have you ever wanted to hurt your father, Deja? Yes. But you can't, can you? Because you don't know who he is. In fact, the only thing you know is that the people responsible for raping your mother were rappers. Is that correct? Yes. It has been your mission since adulthood to make rappers pay for the mistreatment of women because of what happened to your mother. And be careful how you answer that question, Deja, because I am a beast when it comes to obtaining information. No, it is not. Are you sure you want to go down this path with me? Bring it on. Because your client raped me. I will say that the question and answer between you and Deja was the highlight of the trial. But in the end, she ultimately won. Wouldn't you say? No. I mean, not to sound totally arrogant, but I destroyed her on that witness stand, and I told her, I forewarned her not to go down that road with me. But the verdict? What about it? And what happened to Six Brother? 
thugged out. Where is the campus? You think I'm playing with you, huh? You think I'm playing with you? Where is the cameras? You can do what you want with me. Cause I ain't telling you. <laughs> Bring her out. What you doing, B? I need those cameras. Those cameras prove my brother didn't rape Daisha. And I'm gonna do whatever I have to do to get him. Yo, leave her out of this. It's between you and me. Chill, man. you ain't no killer. Put the gun down. Leave us. We, we can work this out. You think I won't do it? You think I won't do it? Look, I swear, I don't know. feel when you heard the jury's verdict? We have, Your Honor. What do you think I felt? What say you? We, the jury, find the defendant, Tony Hall, on the charge of rape in the first degree. Not guilty. Yeah! <laughs> You tell me, what did you feel? Victorious. And what did you feel for Deja? If what Deja claimed happened to her had actually happened, I would have felt for her. But since it didn't, I feel nothing. Everyone who believed in sin got to pay for what he did. Excuse me for a moment. Nice office. Thank you. Thank you. 